Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, I always said that the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, is smart. I never said that he is knowledgeable, um, and I always said he's a weasel. So he's a smart weasel, uh, not uh, knowledgeable, smart weasel. And he is, the, I think, one of the, how should I put it? nowadays called the politician best politician that the west has in a way of weasel ship uh, if you look at the, the main western let's call them leaders biden gone sunak doesn't know shit he has no balls is nowhere uh, the other one um, the german chancellor olaf scholz he looks and not only looks, his statements are dumb. Uh, who else? Who else could you, uh, could, could you, I mean, Meloni doesn't know squat, uh, and she's just not good, let's put it nicely. So what did, uh, you are a French citizen, okay, let's say you're part of the French nation, and uh, you're asked, hey, Jean, uh, Georges, would you fight Russia? Do you want to go to war with Russia? What would you say? I mean, for real. Let's say they say, hey, depending on your answer, you and your adult population will be required to fight Russia in a hot war. The Russians can hit you, you can hit them. Would you go for Ukraine? Would you? Now, this is where this guy, Emmanuel Macron, gets you to to fight Russia. Do you want to do that for Ukraine? I mean, then you have to analyze all this bullshit. Uh, Russia will invade Europe. Russia will threaten Europe's existence. You're going to all become uh, slaves on the gulag and all this garbage that these guys are scaring you with. You have to analyze and say, do I really believe that? Can you stop the freaking game? These guys, dangerous game, they're playing with your lives, your children's lives, your great grandchildren and grandchildren's lives. Now let me show you what Macron says. Macron says that he's going to fight Russia alone. He doesn't need the Americans. Did you know that? That means he's going to fight with you. You're going to fight for Macron. Macron is not going to be on a horse, white horse, fighting over there. No, no, no. He's not going to be in Austerlitz. He's not going to be there. He's going to be somewhere back in Paris, in a bunker, unlike you. So when the Russians were going to attack <clears throat> Paris, let's say, if you dare to attack them, He's going to be safe and sound. You're going to be blown up. Or maybe right in the front line, again, going to Moscow. For whose decision? And for, for Zelensky? For American interests or the interests that own America? Is that what you want? Then go right now. Don't drag the whole uh, French nation, whatever that is. Let's go to this article, Sputnik. Macron says no need for West to intervene. French troops attacked in Ukraine. Remember this imbecile said that uh, he uh, has no problem uh, having troops in Ukraine, especially along the border with Belarus, so he can free the um, uh, Ukrainian military from guarding the northern part of the country and move it to the front line. So let me show you what this imbecile is talking about. And my question obviously was, okay, my boy, you're going to do that. And let's say the Russians decides to invade uh, unprovoked from Belarus. What are those troops located that you want to locate right here? What are your French troops do? So they want to uh, get the French troops along this border with Belarus, Ram Pam Pam, correct? So the Ukrainians can go and fight the Russians here. Good plan, but if the Russians attack from here, I said that, what are the uh, French troops do? Are they going to shoot at the Russians? The Russians said we're going to hit Paris. It takes about two minutes for Paris to react. That means for this guy to run in his fucking bunker. Anyway, maybe he just got a piece of uh, something uh, in his uh, wife's ass or something. So, this guy can fight Russia alone. Doesn't need U US's uh, help and anybody else's for that matter. That means you are going to fight for Ukraine for Zelensky Stein, for Macron, for Brigitte Bardot. All right, let's go to the article. 
and read further. Unbelievable. Just ask yourselves, do you want to fight the Russians and then why? It's because you lost in uh, 1812 or you didn't lose. Uh, it was a loss because then you disintegrated actually after that. Napoleon, poor, Na poor Napoleon came back home with nothing and those weasels fucked him up. That's why it was, but it was his decision. He went to Moscow, burned it down. He, was, uh, he waited for Kutuzov. Kutuzov did not show up. Kutuzov was waiting. He was not that, that kind, but anyway. He was uh, playing his uh, little, how do you call it, Kobza. Uh, how do you call it, man? Ah, can't remember. Anyway, uh, he waited for Napoleon to say, hey, are you going to fight today? No, yet, no, tomorrow, mm, I don't know. So he retreated. For that one, you can claim that you won in the Crimean Peninsula War. In the Crimean War, together with the Brits and together with the uh, Ottoman Empire against the Tsarist Russia, you can claim that as a victory, even though you were three against one. Nevertheless, let's see this article. French President Emmanuel Macron has balalaika, is that how you call it? French President Emmanuel Macron has told Western allies that there would be no need for NATO or US forces to step into the Ukrainian battlefield if Russia targeted French soldiers deployed in the area, US media reported on Wednesday, citing unmanned US officials. Now, do you think that's true? I suspect that if Macron will send you to fight for Zelensky's time, and the Russian will shoot at you, Zelensky, uh, Zelensky. Macron will be on the phone with everybody else in NATO to say, well, we've been attacked, what are we gonna do? Help! Guarantee you that. And you know what they're gonna say? Well, things changed. Why? It was on a Wednesday. We wouldn't have asked for support if that would have happened on Monday, but it's Wednesday, we need it. Wednesday is a certain <coughs> date that we, uh, if we are attacked, we have to call NATO into action. They want to find some imbecilic reason. In late February, following a Paris-hosted conference on Ukraine, Macron said that Western leaders had discussed the possibility of sending troops to Ukraine and, although no consensus had been reached in this regard, nothing could be ruled out. US President Joe Biden's administration is concerned about the possible Russian attacks against any French forces deployed in Ukraine, as such circumstances could lead to France's full involvement involvement in the conflict along with other allies, the report said. However, Macron has, has assured allies that there was no need for France's alliance to intervene. We can smack the Russians, basically the little fucker thought. In February, Macron held phone conversations with Biden and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. One was sleeping, the other one was like, oh urging the Allies to adopt a position of strategic ambiguity towards Russia that would allow them to keep all military options on their of their support policy for Ukraine on the table, including the deployment of troops, Washington State Journal reported. The French president asked Allies to abandon their policy of red lines. What if, motherfucker, what if Russia um, abandons its policy of red lines? Hey, Zealot, you want to... The prophecy will be fulfilled. Towards Russia, leaving Moscow to guess the West further potential steps, the newspaper reported, adding that this initiative contrasted with Biden's approach to avoid actions that could provoke Moscow and led to escalation. These guys have been escalating from the first day of this unprovoked war. United States and Germany rejected Macron's initiative, saying it risks escalating hostilities. That means Russia could hit us. You know what I mean? And that's a no-no. We're strong, but we don't want to hit. We only want to hit some others, preferably small countries. But we try to destroy Russia through the, the Ukrainian Zelensky Stein. Uh, add, adding that Scholz warned the French leader against making such ideas public. It's between you and I, my boy. Don't tell these baboons. Following Macron's statements after the Paris-hosted conference, other EU countries, e European Union countries rushed to dismiss such plans with the German Chancellor saying that NATO had no intention of sending its troops to Ukraine. You said you don't have intention to send tanks and you did. 
Uh, the Kremlin, in response to Macron's comments, said that a deployment of NATO troops to Ukraine would make a direct conflict between the alliance and Russia inevitable. It's already there. In accordance with Article 5 of the NATO Atlantic Treaty, any attack on one ally is considered an attack against the entire NATO, which allows for the provision of appropriate assistance to any member when attacked. Well, 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 well. I made a video about two days ago where um, a German, uh, how do they call it, no, uh, German uh, experts from Bundestag uh, said that uh, if France, if a NATO country goes to war with another country, like in this scenario, and Russia is going to fuck them up because they're over there, NATO is not, um, is not going to intervene, it's not going to activate its Article 5. So I made a video a while ago, a while ago, a few days ago. Let me let me find that for you in case you want to look at it. So, so this is the this is the video from March 29th. It says NATO prepares to go to war with Russia, and I'm quoting international law allows ground troops in Ukraine. Experts, and I said NATO builds case to fight Russia. International law allows NATO troops in Ukraine, and their point was. If a NATO country sends over their troops and blah blah blah, we are not uh, we're we not required to intervene unless we want, which is uh, in, uh, each country makes their own decision. So again, would you go and fight? Well, if you want, <clears throat> I don't stop you. The problem is, think of the consequences, and for whom and for what. Nevertheless, uh, I think this is dangerous. What this imbecile uh, had to say that uh, he's going to, uh, no need for the West to intervene if French troops attack in Ukraine, we can manage. I think the Russians are waiting. I think they're doing exercises like this at home and like this, or like this on buttons, they are ready. They are just, how do you do it? Ah, come on, French, do it, do it. Fuck you up, revenge. I think that's how uh, the, the Russians, if they uh, thought the right history in their school, their right history is their history, which is they tried to attack us. They attacked us two times. The French cannot be trusted. And they're waiting and they can fuck you up. Uh, it doesn't mean that the French could not uh, scratch here and there, but still, for what? Why would Macron do this to you? Is he... Is he your president or he is the tool of other interests that don't give a fuck about you? I think the second option is the uh, check marked, the right one. But hey, that's my assessment. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.